Archetypal ones. So we're going to be talking about a new archetype today, and it's called the Nephthys series. So it's going to be released in Hidden Summoners, which is a new set that I think is going to be equivalent to that of uh, Dark Saviors. So uh, this is a ritual based archetype, and already I can see that there are wind monsters and fire monsters. So uh, let's actually go over these cards. There's actually a lot of cards, so I'm going to try and be as quick as I can here. Alright, so reading off the screen, it says Nephthys revives with her Second Order's members and rites revealed. Uh, Nephthys knows Satyrite, uh, Enlightened of Nephthys, which is the translated version of this card. So this is the first card, which is the level 2 wind spellcaster effect monster. Its attack is 600, defense is 600. You can only use each effect of the first and second effects with this card's name only once per turn. So for the first effect, you can target one level 4 or lower Nephthys monster in your graveyard, except itself, destroy one card in your hand, and if you do special summon the targeted monster in defense position, but it has its effects negated. For the second effect, once per turn during your standby phase, after this card was destroyed by a card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can special summon this card from the graveyard. So that's actually really interesting. One thing that I'm kind of reminded here is obviously uh, Sacred Phoenix of uh, Nephthys here. And uh, this also reminds me of uh, the Fire Kings as well because uh, they do get effects of when they get destroyed. And it is obviously really interesting concept here because they are using Phoenixes. So with a Phoenix, when they die, they revive again. So I like the whole uh, concept of what they're uh, making the playstyle of this deck to be. So the other card on the right side is called Nephthys No Inorite, or Prayer of Nephthys as the translated version. It's a level 2 wind spellcaster effect monster with an attack of 0 and defense of 2000. You can only use each effect among the first and second effects with this card's name only once per turn. For the first effect during your main phase, you can destroy one card in your hand, and if you do, add one Nephthys monster from your deck to your hand, except itself. For the second effect, once per turn during your standby phase, after this card was destroyed, or during your next standby phase after this card was destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can add one Nephthys spell trap from your deck to your hand. So obviously we can see that uh, they're definitely making ways for you to be consistent with this deck. Obviously these cards will be destroyed, but uh, it definitely operates in a really uh, fair manner that it won't be insanely broken, but uh, we'll have to see what happens with the spells and traps that we'll see later on. Alright, so we actually have two more effect monsters. So the next effect monster is called Nephthys No Catarite or Speak of Nephthys. Uh, again, same stats, or rather, same level 2 wind spellcaster effect monster. Seems like that's going to be the trend for all of them. Uh, this has an attack of 300 and a defense of 1200. You can only use each effect of the first and second effects once per turn, so that we already know. So for the first effect, you can target one Nephthys card in your graveyard, except itself, destroy one card in your hand, and if you do, add the targeted card to your hand. For the second effect, during your next standby phase after this card was destroyed by card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can add one Nephthys card from your graveyard to your hand, except itself. So obviously what we're seeing here is a trend of uh, being able to be consistent here. One card has the field effects, or one effect is the field effect, whereas the second effect operates on when it gets destroyed by a card effect. So that's definitely really interesting here. So for the fourth card, again, same thing, with an attack of 1400 and defense of 200. You can only use each effect of this once per turn of course. For the first effect, during your main phase, you can destroy one card in your hand if you do special summon one level 4 lower Nephthys monster from your hand, except itself. And its second effect is once per turn, during your next standby phase after this card was destroyed by card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can destroy one Nephthys monster from your deck. Or in your deck, sorry. Uh, except for itself. So that's definitely really, really interesting here. Um, aside from the cards that we'll be going over after this, um, we can actually just use the original Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys as well as uh, Fire Kings as well. It could definitely work in this deck really, really well here. So I'm definitely excited about this. 
I mean, we don't even have to think of this as a new archetype, but rather a supporting archetype for an older archetype. So now let's go over the two ritual monsters here. So Nephthys no Matsurite or Avatar of Nephthys, a level 2 wind spell cast the ritual effect monster, an attack and defense of 1200. You can ritual summon this card with Rebirth of Nephthys, which is apparently the uh, ritual spell. Um, obviously the first and second effects can only be used once per turn. And so let's go over the first effect. If this card is Ritual Summon, you can Special Summon an FD's monster from your deck. Also, this card will be destroyed during the turn's end phase. The second effect is, if this card is in your graveyard, you can destroy one FD's card in your hand if you do Special Summon this card from the graveyard. So that's definitely really interesting, being able to revive itself again. Following the trend, but overall, nothing particularly special yet. Alright, so now the second monster is actually a big deal because this is actually a level 8 fire winged beast ritual effect monster. Everything before this has been wind so far, so the fact that it's now fire uh, potentially is the boss monster here. So Nephthys no Soshin or Sacred Blue Phoenix of Nephthys. Attack of 3000 and defense of 1000. You can ritual summon this card with rebirth of course. Uh, effects can only be used only that turn, and the first effect, during your main phase you can activate this effect. Destroy any number of Nephthys cards in your hand and or are face up on your field, then destroy an equal number of monsters your opponent controls. This isn't even targeting your opponent's monsters, so this is really really good. For the second effect, once during your standby phase, after this card was destroyed by battle or card effect, and sent to your graveyard, you can special summon this card from the graveyard. So, again, the whole revival effect makes sense, but the fact that it can destroy your opponent's monsters is definitely the whole purpose of this. This is totally reminding me of Fire King Avatar High King Grunix. So, this is really, really cool here, and honestly, it feels like uh, we don't even have to play the Fire Kings, but honestly, I just want to mix it in just for fun. So, uh, definitely already giving me a lot of ideas here to test out, so it's going to be interesting to see when it actually comes out. Alright, so the next two cards, we have Link Monster and a Spell card, which is obviously the Rebirth. So the Link Monster is uh, Shogashin Nephthys, or Nephthys the Palladium Deity. Link 2 Fire Wing Beast Effect Monster, Attack of 1200, Link Arrows pointing down and also to the bottom right. Link Materials, two Nephthys Monsters. First Effect can only be used once per turn. So for its first effect during your main phase, if you control this Link Summon card, you can activate one of these effects. Add one level 8 Winged Beast monster from your deck to your hand, then you can add one Ritual Spell card from your graveyard to your hand. Or the second effect is destroy one Nephthys monster this card points to, and if you do Special Summon from your graveyard, one Nephthys monster, whose original name is different from the destroyed monsters, but the summoned monster has its effects negated. So obviously this uh, plays off with um, destroying the card to activate its effect, but at the same time just bringing back something to replace it, and although the effects are negated, what you bring back will be used as a ritual summon. Alright, so here's the ritual spell Rebirth of Nephthys, or Nephthys no Rene. Uh, a ritual spell card, this card can only be used to ritual summon any Nephthys ritual monster. So its effect is ritual summon one Nephthys monster, from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand and or field whose total level equal or exceed the level of the monster you ritual summon. Then, if you tributed Avatar of Nephthys and or Sacred Blue Phoenix of Nephthys for this ritual summon, you can destroy one card on the field, which is definitely a nice addition to this card's effect. Otherwise, it would just be any other generic uh, ritual spell card, but uh, I like this. Alright, so for the final two cards, we have a normal spell card, only activating the effects once per turn. So, its effect is, target two cards on the field, one Nephthys card you control and one your opponent controls, and destroy them. Um, it's alright, it's a little disappointing the fact that you have to target your opponent's cards, because these days it's obviously difficult, but the fact that it can just pop off any one card your opponent controls is definitely nice. So, overall field spells, back row... Uh, it's not just restricted to the opponent's monsters, and obviously you get your effect off if you destroy a Nephthys monster. So, for the trap card, Nephthys no Kakusei, Awakening of Nephthys, Continuous Trap Card. 
you can use the second effect of this card's name only once per turn. So for the first effect, nef these monsters you control just gain 300 attack. A nice boost, uh, might make some relevance, but we don't know that for sure. For the second effect, if this face-up card in the spell trap zone is destroyed by a card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can special summon one Nephthys card from your hand, deck or graveyard, but it is destroyed during the end phase. That is definitely good. Now, I'm actually curious to know about the trap card being destroyed. Does it actually special summon a ritual monster as well, or no? I'm gonna assume no, because obviously a ritual summon has to be done properly. But uh, with this, it definitely does help you um, get benefits whether it's on the field or not. So, uh, overall nice. You kind of want to destroy this card instead, but uh, we obviously have other monsters that can handle that. But overall, setting this as bait is definitely nice. But um, this archetype is actually looking pretty good here. I'm actually uh, really interested here. The artwork looks nice, and I like the theme of the whole phoenix being able to revive. Uh, giving me a lot of memories on Fire Kings. I've actually done a deck profile on my channel before a long time ago on Fire Kings. So I don't know if you guys can actually like go back and check that out. Uh, it was one of my really first deck profiles. So uh, this is definitely bringing back a lot of memories and uh, I am looking forward to this deck indeed. So yeah, tell me what you guys actually think about this. Uh, sorry about the how long video here i uh, just had a lot of cards to actually go through and um yeah let's actually talk about this in the comments section what you guys think so hope you guys have a great day i'll see you next time